My name is Leonardo da Vinci. I was born in Tuscany, Italy on April 15, 1452. I lived during the Renaissance era, which was all about new developments and discoveries in things like art, math, and science. I was never married and had no children. All that I had I gave over to my apprentice when I passed. I had a peasant mom and a notary dad. I mostly lived with my dad and many stepmoms throughout my life. I never received a formal education. I received instructions at home in subjects like reading, math, and writing. I got into art at a very young age when I worked under artist Andre Del Verrocci in Florence for 11 years. He taught me about metalwork, leather arts, carpentry, drawing, and sculptures. By age 20, I was qualified as a master artist in the Guide of St. Luke, which was very, very important honor for painting, painters, and artists. My name translated to Leonardo from the town of Vinci. You may find that weird, but it but this is how people got their names back then. For instance, if you live in Brooklyn today, you would be known as someone from Brooklyn. Some people know me for my infamous painting, like the Mona Lisa, as you see right here, and the Last Supper. But did you know I also did many sketches of inventations and engineering today? I got distracted very easily and could barely finish a project. In fact, during my 17 years working for the Dutch of Milan, I only completed six projects, including The Last Supper. Did you know that I never completed the Mona Lisa? I was always a procrastinator and never in a hurry to finish anything quickly. When I died in 1519, I, will, I willed the unfinished painting to my dear friend, Satellite. It took me 10 years to, to just paint the lips of the Mona Lisa. Imagine, that, imagine it taking you that long to do your homework. That would be really bad. Many people often wonder, who was the real Mona Lisa, and why did I paint her? This you may never know. Some people think it was a wife of a local merchant. Others think it was a self-portrait of me as a female. This secret will never be revealed. I can only tell that this famous painting is at a value of $780 million. It hangs in the Louvre Museum in Paris and is protected by bulletproof glass. It is a national treasure. It is worth a lot of money. Do you like to paint? Do you paint by numbers? Did you know that I inspired the movement? I used to teach apprentices how to paint using a number sorted canvas. Dan Roberts Robinson later discovered the concept and created the painting by number kits that you can buy today and paint like me, which would be really cool. Aside from painting, I love inventing things. Some of my famous inventions were an armor card in 1485, the first bicycle 300 years before a computer on the road, and inflatable tubes for people to float underwater, on the water. Next time you are on vacation, make sure to thank me for all the fun you had. My plans and creations were recording in a book filled with my notebooks, with my notes and drawings. I did design for the first parachute, the first helicopter, first plane, first motor car, and swinging bridge. Many of these machines have since been built and tested. 
a swinging bridge. Could someone imagine that? That would be amazing to have, wouldn't it? I will leave you with done this note. The eye sees a thing more clearly, clearly in dreams than the imagination awake. Keep dreaming, inventing, and trying. Thank you for joining me on this interview.